Welcome back to the Gone Podcast. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Please be patient with me as I try to mumble and fumble my way through this. Today I want to talk about thankfulness and gratitude. Uh, when it comes to gratitude, I want to thank our host, the Evil DM, for hosting this. Um, and uh, I appreciate his opportunity to bring back this show. Uh, but let's keep on with the show. When it comes to games, we don't often think about throwing, showing gratefulness or thanking our fellow players, our fellow, our GM, uh, even ourselves. It's, it's a, we get in there, play the game, have some fun, have some laughs, and just leave. I mean, that's what most people think. I think that we often don't think about gratitude. We don't think about, you know, thanking the DM and GM or our fellow players or even ourselves. You know, yes, we say thank you or we thank them from time to time, but there's more ways to show our grateful, our gratitude other than just thanking them for their time. I mean, you gotta think about it. You know, DMs, GMs take their time throughout the day. They plan out a game. They they show that they plan out the game accordingly. They show excitement. They have interesting characters. And yes, some GMs and DMs will plan out their games uh, at the spur of the moment, and that shows uh, a real interest in what they're doing. Um, and, and often, you know, some people do bring snacks or do bring drinks, and that's a good way to thank the GM so the GM doesn't have to provide anything, or, you know, if they're going to somebody else, they don't really have to show the host things, but, you know, that does help monetarily. Uh, so in my position where I can't really afford to do those things, there's other ways I'd like to show my gratitude towards the host, the GM, the DM, the my fellow players, and to myself. Um, when it comes to the GM and GM, I mean, they take their time. They, they make the game exciting. They they want to exhilarate things. And the way, to, to my opinion, to thank them without, you know, monetary-wise, is to be an active participant, you know. Uh, they, they often, you know, tell stories or make interesting characters, and you use that time and make the play more exciting. Uh, taking notes also helps, too. When it comes to taking notes, you know, it shows your active interest in the game, and that's one good way. Uh, having a good backstory and giving the ideas to your GM, DM GM, to uh, use in their own campaigns. Uh, I often like to be a participant and I like to have interesting ideas and I will often tell my DM uh, about them, my, my GM about them. Uh, also, critiques. Uh, and, and if your GM can't really take critiques, which some can't, but some can, you know, you kind of give an impression of where you want to take the game. If you want more combat, if you want more investigation, if you want more role play, I mean, give a suggestion like that. You know, it, it usually helps them out to kind of figure out where the group wants to go, as opposed to just guessing. And their uh, GM is just like me, which I'm not a GM, but they they can't really figure out where your thought process is, and what, where you want to go, and they want to have fun with you. As much as they're your adversary, your judge, you know, the rules master, the, the director, help them out. You know, critique a little bit. Uh, tell them where the group wants to go, what the, what the idea is, what the vision is. When it comes to thanking or showing gratitude to the, to the, to the group that you're in, you know, be an active, be an active role player. You know, take the initiative, talk to that GM. Talk to your fellow players. Get their ideas. You want to show them that they can have fun with you as much as you can have fun with them. And uh, 
I mean, you don't have to go overboard like I do from time to time, but, you know, just make sure they're having as much of a fun time as you are. And when you're participating with your fellow players, you should also show the, the uh, DM that you're also enjoying their game as well. And lastly, thank yourself. You go through the week, you work, or some of you don't, but some, you know, most of you do. You work, you, you take care of your household, you pay your bills, you go through this monotony that is life. And some of you don't think it's monotonous, some of you do think it's monotonous. But most of all, you go through it, and you, you get up, and you get ready to go, you know, either online or go to your the host house. Make sure you're there on time. That's definitely thanking the host. And also clean up after you get done. That really helps the host too. But thanking yourself. You know, you do all these things. And you don't just think about the things that you have to do for yourself, maybe even do for your family. And, and the best thing you do is just, when you get to the game, have fun. You know, like I'm talking about gratitude for other people, but you got to have gratitude. you got to have fun in that game. Because if you don't have fun in that game, what's it worth it even going there? And uh, just take care of yourself. This is mostly what I'm saying. Have fun. Be thankful for your fellow players. Be thankful for the game you're playing. Be thankful for everything that you have. And just don't concentrate on it too much. Because you'll just wear yourself out. But uh, that's it. Have a good day. It's your game. It's your rules. You play like you like. Thank you very much.